Uh, my name's Tom, uh, I study history and I work at Pets at Home. So my name's Alicia, I do uh, film studies and linguistics and I work in the uh, cafe in the SU. My name's Amy, I study biomedical sciences and I'm a student ambassador. I'm Betsy and I study drama with English literature and I work at Turtle Bay. Um, my name is Ikra, I study speech and language therapy and I'm part of the library student team so I work for the University of Manchester. So my name is Sanjana and I'm doing the Masters by Research in Oncology and I work part-time at a dessert cafe, it's called Moonlight Desserts and uh, my daily job kind of includes being on the till, just like a cashier and then sometimes if it gets too busy I also help with serving food. I make uh, the coffees, I cook paninis occasionally, and sometimes, now there's like a potato hut as well, I go and I like make the potatoes, although I don't really make the potatoes because I hate touching tuna, so I'm on like the tills. Why did you decide to get a part-time job at uni, and then, I guess, follow-up question that, why did you get this one? Mm -hmm. I think, I sort of knew I needed a job, like financially, and then also just to break up my studies so I wasn't just like constantly studying all the time. Um, so I was looking for part-time jobs for ages, but I didn't, I didn't really want to do like retail. I didn't want to go into like hospitality. So I found out this job through um, a scholarship that I got to come to this university. The man who like runs it, he was like, you know, go directly to the university because they have jobs that are for students. So take a look at them. So I did that and then I ended up applying for this one. And yeah, I ended up getting it, which is really good. <laughs> so how did you like, like how did you find your part-time job how did you sort of end up there um i found it on indeed uh but then i went on to the actual turtle bay website and applied through that because sometimes that is an easier way to actually like get an interview if you do it through their actual website uh but i did find it through indeed so i was just walking past one day and i saw this we are hiring board at the dessert shop i currently work in i just came and called the manager and then he asked for my CV and then we decided to meet a couple of days later where we discussed like formal stuff like NI numbers and like BRP details and stuff. And then, yeah. As a student, how would you say you balance like work with like studies? Is that something that comes like, does it come naturally to you? Is it something you've got oh. to figure out? So it's something that comes with the right job. Like I used to work for a supermarket and that was, and I was working Wednesdays, Friday evenings and Sunday mornings. And like that didn't give me a social life because I was, I couldn't really do anything because I needed to be like bed early and then, yeah. Um, so I think I do that now by like making sure that I'm not overworking myself because my job's quite flexible and you can like pick and choose your hours or like say when you're free and like they'll give you a shift for it. So I think it's just about like flexibility in your job. What would you say are the advantages of having a part-time job while you're at uni? Getting paid. Yeah. Getting paid. University is so expensive. I feel like especially if you've gone, like even though I didn't move out for uni, like I underestimated how expensive it would be because in general it just is like if you're on campus or you're like going to coffee shops around here, like you said, like they're really expensive or just going out and stuff. So obviously there's like a bit more financial freedom that comes with it. But then there's also like getting experience because like whilst university gives you a degree, like you need a bit of experience working with other people. So I think definitely it, the advantage is that you get to interact with all different types of people and that can only like be beneficial. And what would you say like are the uh, disadvantages or like things people should sort of consider before they get a part-time job as a student? I think people should be realistic and think about whether they can make that extra commitment, especially if they already have other part-time jobs as well and dependent on how many contact hours their course has. Um, and also I'd encourage people to not do a part-time job that they hate because I know people in that situation. And it just adds on a lot of extra stress to uni, which can already be stressful around like exam time. I mean, uh, yeah, don't get too caught up on pay. You, you're working part-time job, you know, just <laughs> hit at least the minimum wage and, and enough to support yourself. But flexibility, you need a company that's flexible. I'm lucky pets at home are flexible with me because um, I've, I've pushed and pulled with them a lot. And, um, you know, I, I've even each semester I've told them, right, this is my schedule. I can work after two on this day. Can't work Wednesdays because I want to play football. You know, can't work Saturdays because I've got a season ticket for City, you know, things like that. So it's, I think flexibility is the key one because it just means you can control your life rather than 
you know, have a company push you around and having to work, like balance a degree or a dissertation or anything as well. It's just too much. Yeah, so. Thank you. <laughs> sort of, in terms of the money you financially have in a part-time job, is it more important now, like in the cost of living crisis and everything, like um, in terms of job assignment? Yeah, I guess I never came to university before the cost of living crisis, but I'd say now it's the financial aspect is really useful. I don't know if I'd be able to do anything other than just like buy the essentials if I didn't work um, because little costs just rack up so much. And I think part time jobs are good to cover that. Would you say your part time job has any sort of importance for your CV going forward or would you say it's more of like a now kind of? No, I feel like I've learned so much more that's not like technically important on a CV through this job, like be it managing time, managing people, teamwork, essentially, because like we're we're a food and beverage chain. So we need to be quick. And it's not like one person does it. One person's taking the order, one person's making it, one person's making the other half. We have different sections. So kind of that communication, teamwork, working together and then delivering in time. I feel these are some really important skills I've learned that I wouldn't learn on my course. If you were like talking to someone who's like thinking of coming to uni and um, but they're saying like, I think I need a part time job to go to uni. Yeah. Would you have any advice for them? Anything to like consider like or just like general sort of experience you could impart? Um, I would say you have to be patient because obviously coming to Manchester it does take quite a while to get a job. But I got rejected from multiple jobs and at the end of the day, like I'm glad I did because I found a better job that's better suited to me. So I think you just have to not take rejection personally. Just honestly, just be patient. It will come. You will get your job. Like at the end of the day, if you're searching for one, it's better than just sitting back and not getting one at all. So.